program started from the top. Could you please let us know what other plans do you have for this community? Is that all this one we are doing today? Well, I need to step back a bit. The commissioning of this uh, technology centre is the boldest step that has been taken by this community towards its transformation into a smart city in our lifetime. Particularly in the fourth industrial revolution, we always known that we need to equip ourselves, especially our youth, with digital skills to enable us to navigate to this world, which has become borderless. In other words, from afar, we can do business with the rest of the world virtually without our stepping outside of this country. So the production of a PCB, the PCB laboratory according to engineer Kona Malogo, is the first of its kind in West Africa, and we're glad that this is our company in Afar. From here, we believe that this will be, just as the hub had a catalytic impact, that gave rise to the Color Value Technology Center, which is a partnership between the one and each other. This center will also be a catalyst to other uh, initiatives like the manufacturing, maintenance, and uh, training for drones. So that will be the next phase. Right now, we are producing a uh, printed circuit board, as you can see, this was proudly uh, produced in Afar. So the next phase will be the manufacturing, repairs and maintenance of drones. There will also be a helipad, helipad, you know, where helicopters can, you know, equipment for technology centers are quite light. So this is a particular thing to the port or wherever, or travel, or travel by road. Helicopter can even fly, so you can do supplement, and also fly out our products for distribution to other parts of the world. Of what will be able to with all this before for Kwara and Nigeria citizens? Wow, uh, the benefits are limitless, unimaginable. Whatever a mind, a human mind can think of, can be transformed into reality with today's technological advances. So you cannot put a limit to the possibilities that the hub at this center will provide to those who are using facilities in Afar and beyond. What message do you have for youth generally across the country concerning? Well, our youth should embrace the global movement towards digitalization, internet of things. We are now into the fourth industrial revolution. Some are already talking about the fifth industrial revolution. Look at artificial intelligence. A lot was accomplished in 2023 in the area of artificial intelligence, and more will be accomplished in 2024 and beyond. Unless we are equipped with digital skills, if you cannot participate in the era of artificial intelligence. You can see with AI now, a lot of things are happening, and a lot more can happen in education, in medicine, in the sciences, even in agriculture. AI, even in creative industry, you know, artificial intelligence is playing a lot of role, but you need digital skills to be able to participate in the area, of the, in, the, in the emerging era and dispensation. Thank you very much, sir. All right, thank you. For local purpose, may we know you and your designation, sir? My name is um, Are Dr. Wahid Olaguju. I'm the chairman of Wine Innovation Hub, as well as the chairman of Offers Economic Committee. Um, but in view of my business, I'm starting with the responsibility. I was having the responsibility of producing Offers the first development plan 2022 to 2022 and then it's implemented as well. All what we are doing now are within the uh, of our economic development plan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Baba Jomu represented KBC at the commissioning uh, of the of, of, of the hub. We spent almost a hundred million naira setting up the hub, the air conditioners, the broadband connection provided by MTN from somewhere around the general hospital area, they laid the cable continue. up to this place. That cost a lot of money. And we spent a lot of money too on uh, paying for the connection to MTN every year. A lot of our sons and daughters donated the generosity. Have you seen took the first step by donating this whole expanse of land for this project? Because Baba Yahweh said, look, this is beyond what it already door and can do and can do off any. Probably and like Julia Fun Dwarf. 
and committee approached KBC, and uh, KBC agreed that he will take it over as a community project. Dr. Lagmuju, uh, and the various elders of KBC uh, took the initiative. KBC agreed to say donate the uh, piece of land. So everything we are doing here today, KBC donated the land. So the hope can be described as a catalyst that give back to this Kuala Balubu Technology Center. When we live here today, have you seen we go and turn the sword for the of our sports academy? Which is another thing that this hub <laughs> has catalyzed. And beyond us here, the federal government has begun the construction of the Enterprise Development Center. This was made possible by Dr. Sarah Alade when she was special advisor to the president of finance and economy. The foundation has been laid and the foundation has been so you can see that due to having this vision and generosity, this space is uh, opening up. Now, when we launched, when we commissioned the hub, we appeared on China television. Myself, uh, Taufik, and uh, uh, the director Sim, who is not here. But really, Taufik, please stand up for the commission. <laughs> he is the chief executive officer of the One Innovation Hub, and he has contributed significantly in terms of talent and everything. Very, very dedicated and committed. We are very, very grateful to you. So when Engineer Kalabalubu saw us on Sunrise on a Saturday, he invited us to his factory along the rivers of an expressway. We all went there with only one dato. And that was why I said, Look, I want to sign an MOU with you people. I want to hold your hand. I want to help you. I know a lot about technology and innovation. And he conducted us around his factory. And we all shocked at what we saw there. That was where we signed an MOU with him. And he now said, okay, we'll conduct a training program for our youth to produce printed circuit boards. Those are the youth you are seeing there on the wall. They were in his place. He trained them. After training them, he, 10 of our, of, our, of our sons and daughters were trained. And it was through a competitive process. We advertised in the national media online. 50 people, more than 50 people applied. They were screened to 30. Eventually, 10 best were selected. He trained them, he treated them, and gave them equipment to use. He now said, okay, before the end of this year, he was going to build a Kalabalubu Technology Center. When he celebrated his 60th birthday in May, he was in Saudi Arabia. He said, Kabi, you should please lay the foundation stone for him and pray for him and bless him. Kabi, you should not make it. But again, he asked Baba Jomo to come. Baba Jomo, we have a Kabi, you lay the foundation. ODU president was there, that the religion was there, and many of our elders were there that day. And he promised that he will commission it before the end of this year. We started in May, and we're in December. <laughs> he has spent more than 200 million naira to date. Because when we did the bills of quantity in May, this year, we all know what the estimate was in May. When we started, inflation caught up with him. He said, no, he has promised Hadiyasi and people of Offa that this project will be delivered before the end of this year. He doubled his efforts. That's why he has spent more than 200 million naira on this project. Because of his humility, again, he said he will not be here today. He said, once Hadiyasi is here, Hadiyasi is his father. Some of you know, I said, look, if he is not here, let us put this picture here. <laughs> That's why some university came up with it. He we went to Saudi Arabia with the wife of and Co. They all prayed for Umrah and Umrah for offer and everything. But uh, he, he, he said he will not be here. That once Kabi is here, a lot of us have to pray for him. See that's what he needs. Let us pray for him. And he's going to send 10 people to India to train on this project. Yeah. So his investment is continuous. This is not the structure. So by the time we finish the commissioning, we'll go around. In fact, we started producing printed circuit boards in Offa. The first circuit board was printed last week. We'll give you the dummy version once KBC has cut the tape. But we came up with the, with the, with the, with the we printed the banner of it out there. But the print best, what are you delivering the other ones? They are here. Give them to KBC, please. The ones who will deliver. So, on this note, I want to thank KBC and all the stakeholders. 
Uh, uh, of Papa, donated enormously towards the hub. Our brother, Dr. Wai Ibrahim, also did. Our brother here, I like him to follow Ogada, also did. That you like did. But then I like Nayola, did. Almost everybody here, I like to know who my brother also did. A lot of people donated generously. If I don't mention a name because there is no time. So I want to thank you immensely. Please let us do more. This is just the beginning of step is taken to realize how you see vision of the photo. How do you see what the quality of life and the standard is offer to be a very, very high standard. That's why we doing all this. So come and see our me Lisa. That's why we're here. 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 That's